What's up, y'all? So here I am. I tapped out May, and in my monthly Hobonichi, well, this is a Hobonichi gridded A5 notebook that I cut to a wide size. A wide is um, like the Cahier size. Uh, I want to say it's eight and a half by five and a half. I will be going a little wider in May instead of the standard size. So I decided to kind of go ahead and tab it out. These are all Avery tabs. So um, I move my tabs every week with the exception of my monthly, I mean my memory page, see, memories, gratitude, and um, a scripture plan, those stay there. And then once I get to my tracker, normally I will do like tracker, but I decided to do just like a to-do from this little doodad. I like to keep it kind of thin and I like to always keep my tracker at the top because I know where these, I, I do have a position for these. So soap study is always at the bottom and so is prayers, so is exercise. Um, my morning and devotion notes kind of stay at the bottom side. My weekly always stays at the bottom too. So I have a deliberate, deliberate purpose of what I do um, when I do set up my monthlies, I do really want to try and do one from scratch, but honestly, it's hard because I, I take my time in setting up my book, my books monthly, which is why I have like my June book already in the cut so I can go ahead and start doing that. So I probably will also add something on this page, um, just so that way, you know, keep it nice. This is not going to tuck in. I'm not going to tuck this in. Now I may move into a mo term later on in the month for May. And that's why I'm not really putting anything right here because I may, um, tuck it in into the mo term. So I'm very excited because, um, yeah, I just, told myself, you know what, just do it. Just, just stay in the monthly, I mean the May book. So I did print out some more little things because I honestly thought that I was going to, you know, switch to a different book. So I might save some of these images for July or actually for June, but more than likely this little coffee thing is gonna go right there. I've already have enough for my tasks and personal goals um, for May. So I always like to put little um, images right there. So I will glue that down. Um, this is gonna be a five week book. Uh, like I said, I put my, my weeks like this on the back of the book. I try to normally like, um... Luna, stop it, girl. No. Oh, this cat. Uh, so I normally try to like cross it off. Um, so obviously I'm here. So the like I said, the only thing that's going to jack with me is not having my Lauren Phelps design cover. And um, in my June book, this is a half year. And the Lauren Phelps design doesn't really feel like nice in a half year because it's it's not big. But I don't know. We're, we're going to see. We're going to see. So I've got the gratitude. And then again, my scripture plan um, is labeled here. So again, next thing I will do is start writing out my stuff. Um start to transfer stuff into my brain dump that I know <laughs> is not going to um, happen. So one of the key elements from when I'm leaving one book and going into a new book is I go through the whole book page by page to see if I've missed anything. Um, and then I kind of put it on my brain dump. So if I go through and sometimes I will read my uh, memory pages to see if there's anything as well. Um, but I kind of went through all of this in there. Then I kind of go to my brain dump. So obviously nothing's going to be on my prayers or my my faith stuff or my, um, my food log. 
I'll go through homeschool and see like, look, tie dye shirts. We didn't get to do, I did cancel education.com. So stuff like that, I will keep open and come over here and just put like tie dye shirts. Cause that's one thing I could stand to do or the summer bucket list. So this will will lift will uh, fill up pretty fast, but because I'm I've got a wider book, I might be okay. If not, I um come over here, <laughs> and I do have one of these. So I will probably just keep one here for the sake of doing so. So that way. I'm not like taking up a lot of my space, if that makes sense, because I really do use my um, my brain dump. Oh my gosh, can you talk? So also next order of things is to um, do my weekly, and my weekly is is a lot like wider. So I might be very happy with the space, but I do know me, I I'm more than likely won't um, commit to this size for like the year. I know I'm going back to a standard size. So, um, but yeah, I've got my monthly tack. Um, why can't I speak today? I feel like I'm not, the words are not coming out. <laughs> I've got my monthly tucked in here um, in the back. So I am looking forward to uh, this upcoming month. This is a wide size cover. Somebody asked. So it's not going to fit an A5. It's going to fit like a moleskin notebook. Um, and I don't have one around me. Moleskin meaning those little books that you can get like at Target. Um, so obviously like this is an A5 size. That's not gonna fit. Um, so yeah, it's, and it's a standard. I normally put standard TNs in here because I can have all my um, tabs sticking out. But yeah, the Moleskin size is definitely gonna fit. I did have my A5 Astrology come and I was like, oh my gosh, are you going to cut it down? Are you going to stay? That was my debacle yesterday. I was like, should I cut it? Should I stay in my book? And then I just decided, no, ma'am, you are going to stay in your book and you're going to be just fine. And this is going to be for July. So that's June's. And then this is July. So you're just going to hush it up. So, yeah, that, that's kind of what I do once I commit to um, tabbing out my book. Well, normally I don't have to commit. Normally I'm in a standard size, so I don't have to, like, make this decision. But because I wanted to switch up my life this May, um, yeah. Next thing I was going to do is bring my uh, April book down and do a, um, like, a comparison from April to this April and then like those are the ones I can do I'm not gonna flip through the whole year but I think towards the end of the month it will be nice to bring out last April and then this April and kind of do that every month like when this is done do like last you know prior year May to this May just to see what things how things were and sometimes it's fun to watch what I did on like that specific day and what I wrote versus you know all that so anyhow, um, just wanted to explain what was going on. My coffee cup is done. It's still, someone had asked me <laughs> if this was beef jerky. <laughs> I'm like, no, this is actual leather that I keep petting. Like sometimes I'll just sit here and I'll just squeeze it. It's the Kodiak leather from Jenica Journals. Um, it is a reminder that I do want this leather. But sometimes I just kind of let it sit here because I freaking love it. And it's not beef jerky. <laughs> I thought that was so hilarious. So anyhow, my friends, thanks so much for watching. God bless you and enjoy your day.